Hey guys, it's Kiera, bringing you a tutorial on how to make a Plexa style effect in Cinema 40. It can achieve a pretty awesome effect, so leave a like on this video and be sure to check out my store, where I sell everything from signatures and logos to my project files and Cinema 40 fruit background setup. So to begin, this is sort of the Plexa style that's been going around. Really cool idea, abstract, it's kind of an organic mesh. It looks really amazing from my perspective. So let's get to it. So open up Cinema 40 after installing the plugin called Ray Trace, found in the description below. So once you install that, you'll see it pop up over here as in plugins, Ray Connector. So I'm gonna show you two ways of using this, one with a simple emitter and the other one with a matrix object. So let's start off with a matrix object. So go to MoGraph, Matrix, and you'll have these little cubes pop up. Pretty simple. Then we're gonna go to Generate, and instead of Matrix, we're gonna select Thinking Particles. Cause that's how the ray trace is gonna connect the plexus to each little particle. Then we're gonna go to Particle Priority and put it After Effectors. So once you have that done, we're gonna go to MoGraph, Effector, Random, to give the ability to move around. We're gonna go to Parameters, that's all fine. Then we can go to Random Mode and select Turbulence. Now if you press play, they're starting to jiggle really fast. So we're just gonna lower the animation speed. Let's see how 18 is working. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna make them a bit wider in the matrix. And that's pretty good. So once you have that, go to plugins and drag out a RAID connector. Pretty cool. Now, if you try to drag in the matrix into the RAID connector TP group, you can't do it because this itself isn't a thinking particle. So we need to go to simulate, thinking particles, and then thinking particle settings. And then a small dialog box will appear, and you're gonna drag the all particle groups into the ray connector TP groups. And instantly, we have Cinema 4D starts creating these little splines. And then we can adjust the settings to create more of them, less, bigger, very customizable. So that's a very cool style in itself. And then, you can take the matrix, create a duplicate of it by holding control. And then, going to MoGraph, Cloner, and then selecting a sphere, shrinking the sphere down a bit, and then making the cloner replicate the sphere across the matrix object. So instead of Mode Linear, we're going to go to Mode Object. And then our object is going to be matrix one. Very, very cool. So if we try rendering this out, you're only going to see the spheres because the splines by themselves really don't have a thickness and therefore Cinema 4D doesn't render them out. So there's two ways of making them actually pop out with color. One of them being having a hair material. So we can go to create, shader and then click on hair material you can select any color so let's make a an orange to pink a magenta and we just drag it onto the ray tracer now if we render it you have this sort of thing and then if you want to get the spheres to have the same color you need to make a regular material not a hair material. Then we can select a luminance of blue. Really anything random for the sake of this tutorial. And then we're just gonna drag it onto the sphere. Then if we render out, we get this effect. Really cool. Even without the Lightroom, this already has a lot of potential. So let's say we don't want just a simple little thing like this. Let's see if we can make an emitter. 
So first off, let's go to cube and we're gonna make a null object. We're gonna change this null object to a circle and make it a bit bigger. Then we're gonna go right click on the null, cinema 40 tags, and we're gonna go to Expresso. And this Expresso dialog box pops up. Then we're gonna drag the null into this. Just a single, sink, simple drag and drop. Then we're gonna right click and choose new node, thinking particles, and generator and generator and ps storm we can make them both pretty big so then on the null object we're gonna select global matrix on this side and we're gonna select global position global position global position i'm gonna make this a bit bigger again on this side, we already have the emitter position selected, so all we need now is the alignment. Now we're going to collect the emitter, we're going to connect that to the global position, and the matrix to the emitter alignment. Now if you exit out and you press play, it should start popping out particles. Pretty cool. And even if you want to make some more particles or change the lifespan, just click PS Storm and you can change any of these around. So I want to add a bit more particles to my count. Increase the life, speed, speed variation, really anything you want to do. So now let's do the same thing as before with a ray tracer or sorry, my bad, ray connector. So ray connector, simulate thinking particle, thinking particle settings, and then we'll drag the all into the TP group. And it already creates the same effect. So I'm just going to increase the count. Make them a bit bigger. And also be sure to check off initial. Or otherwise you get an effect like this where it ignores particles that come after the first burst. So we're going to reset this. So let's press play again. And that's a really cool effect. Very plexi like, just like you can do in After Effects. So we have that, and we can do the same thing as before, where we get a hair material, apply to it, render it out, and you get this type of effect. Really cool, really random, and very organic mesh like. So, the plugin can be found in the description below, and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, just smash the green button below. Thanks!